have here is about 170,000 net acres leased. We've got a potential forward drilling of about 1,000 uh, locations that have been undrilled to date. Currently, the strategy is run a 500 million a day production profile with the option to uh, increase activity and production in light of a higher gas price. What I like about working in the Marcellus is that it's, a, it's high energy, it's a ball of activity, uh, no two days are the same. It's a very driven group of people who are focused to the bottom line and what they contribute to the overall company. I think the biggest thing here is the team oriented collaboration environment. We've got a great team here. Seven or eight years after the start of development for the project, we were able to produce cumulatively one TCF of gas production. If we look at the remaining resource available to the Marcellus, which is six to seven TCF of resource and reserves, that in itself would indicate that there would be 30 to 40 years of running room available to us in this project. My team helps Repsol innovate on a day-to-day -day basis by using new and non-traditional supply chain styles when we negotiate contracts with our vendors. So then rather than doing things the same way that we have always done them, we always try to look for unique new ways of negotiating and building contracts. To be successful in an unconventional play, transparency is one of the key things that's required. All those individual teams working on the different execution steps to develop this whole area, that transparency between the teams in the whole delivery unit to me is one of the, the most successful things we've done. We've been able to educate our stakeholders from a health safety and environment standpoint. We work tremendously with our emergency responders in the beginning for them to understand the industry. At Repsol, flexibility is really critical. One of the ways that we can be flexible is by responding to special requests that a stakeholder might make. We recognize that having that kind of flexibility can go a long way in maintaining good relationships. There are a few key attributes that a successful shale development needs to have. The Marcellus checks all those boxes. It is one of the few in the country that does, and by far it is probably the premier dry gas play, not only in the U.S., but arguably North America. When people think about the Marcellus, I want them to think excellence. We've overcome a lot of challenges throughout the years, and we continue to face those challenges. The Marcellus has been very successful, but we're at a point now where we've done things very well, but we need to continue to find new opportunities to make ourselves better. Mm -hmm.